Today, we are here to honor someone who has embodied what it means to exhibit Bermudian academic excellence in every day, in every way. While we are not here to judge the actions of others in the past, we are here to recognize Dr. Wade Smith's contributions to the academic field in Bermuda. She has been a pillar of strength in her community and has shown what it means to advocate for children and education here in Bermuda. I would like to welcome Dr. Muriel Wade Smith. Thank you. Dr. Wade Smith has made significant contributions to the academic community here in Bermuda, and she has also worked diligently to spread her knowledge and expertise internationally. Despite setbacks, inequality, pursuing her doctorate while being married with two young children, she never gave up her goal to educate and inspire. Dr. Wade Smith has served as a principal and co-founder of the Bermuda Christian Deliverance Academy in 1994, after which she was appointed the National ACE Representative for French and English-speaking islands in the Caribbean. She later went on to pursue opening other Christian schools in the Caribbean. In April 2018, Dr. Muriel Wade Smith was appointed the AYA International Education Ambassador and will serve as the official AYA representative here in Bermuda. AYA is a high-tech and high-touch web conference-based school founded in November 1998 that has provided educational objectives for the youth and adults. Dr. Wade Smith apprenticed at the Barclay Institute in 1960, after which she became an educator at a Bermuda primary school. In 1971, Ms. Dr. Wade Smith received her first degree from Miami University, a Bachelor of Science in Elementary Education. In 1974, she continued her studies at Miami University, where she went to receive her Master's of Education degree. Dr. Wade Smith received her Doctorate of Philosophy degree in yeah. Elementary School Administration and Early Childhood Education from Miami University. Part of her doctoral degree requirements was a written dissertation, at which time Dr. Wade Smith submitted her dissertation entitled, A Study to Identify and Prioritize the Goals for the Bermudian education system. Today, I am pleased to announce that Dr. Wade Smith's dissertation is now available online at the Bermuda at to all on the Bermuda Public Library's website, bnl.bm, to all of those that have a Bermuda Library card. I encourage everyone to read her inspiring and thorough academic work. I will also note that September is Library Card Sign-Up Month, so those who do not have library cards and I'm speaking especially to everyone who's in the room today, please see the front desk and sign up for a library card. September is also Bermuda National Library Amnesty Month, and those who have outstanding books, they can, instead of paying fines, donate uh, non-perishable good, toiletry or cleaning products, which will be donated to the center of abuse. However, today, I'm pleased to, it is important to this ministry that Bermudian contributions to academics are not forgotten or lost to history. Our aim is to glean insight and knowledge from present and past works of academia to inspire the course of Bermudian education moving forward. I would like to thank Dr. Wade Smith for allowing her work to be digitized and put on the Bermuda Library's website. It is now placed in their database, which allows us the opportunity to recognize her work and her contributions here today. Thank you. And with that, I welcome Dr. Wade Smith just to give a few comments uh, to, the, uh, to the media. Thank you, Minister Vain, and thank you for having this occasion for me and many and all of Bermuda. If you ask me, what does this mean to me? If I go by what my family says and my friends say, they state categorically, it is long overdue. I say everything happens in its time. For me personally, this is the beginning of what I predicted in 2018 was what was needed in education is a volcanic eruption. And an Ivorian writer says, misfortunes are sometimes just good fortune well wrapped up. And when the wrapping gets loose, all the good fortune comes out, tumbles out. And I believe that today is the beginning of the good fortune 
for education for Bermuda's children to tumble out. It's going to take us dedication and commitment, and we must be guided by two principles, truth and justice. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth and justice. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. I look forward to assisting in any way that I can because I believe I've been commissioned to bring about two elements in the education of Bermuda's children. One is African-centered education and how I came to that, I attended a lecture at the Bermuda College in 1998 the speaker said those two words, falsified curriculum, that sent me on what I call my Sankofa journey. So I've spent the last 20 years learning and reading about African-centered education. Marcus Garvey said, a people without knowledge of their past history, origins, and culture are like a tree without roots. What happens to a tree without roots? It dies. So it is, it is incumbent upon us that we give our children their history and their culture and their roots. And the other element is justice. And what is justice? Justice is being treated fairly and justice is conduct that shows that one is acting in accordance with what is morally right or fair. So if we want the tumbling out of the blessings, we must prepare ourselves to deal with Bermuda's education system from truth and justice. And sometimes the truth hurts, but it brings us to a better place. Thank you. Thank you. And again, I would just like to thank you, Dr. Wade, for allowing us. Um, I know when we, when we first spoke and you talked about your dissertation, I made it our goal to find it. And we did locate it within our archives, and it's now being placed online. And uh, with that, I'd like to thank all of you that have come out. I do encourage you to come, sign up for your library, <clears throat> sign up for your library card if you do not have one. And also, um, if you do have outstanding library books, um, this month is Amnesty Month. You can be forgiven for those fines. Thank you, everyone, for coming today.